youngsters, my friends, Buzrubu or Mary Ulama, Wajibul Ehtibarak Ehtiram Ulama. SubhanAllah, there are so many youngsters here. Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam farmate hai, he says, Man kharaja fi talabi l-ilmi fa huwa fi sabirillah. Those who exit, leave the house, come to madrasa to gain the knowledge, to learn the knowledge of the deen, Quran, Hadith, Sunnah, Fiqh. For who are fees of Allah? Who are lucky raste me? They are in the path of Allah. Allah ki raste me. Hatta yarjia. Until they return back to the house. Three hours, four hours, five hours. We're coming here to learn Quran, to memorize the Quran. How important is this? When a person leaves the house just to gain knowledge, to learn the knowledge, you will see that Allah descending His mercy on that. Angels spread their wings. Spread their wings. For who? Those who are coming to learn the knowledge. How important. Why are they spreading their wings? They get so happy. Reason. They are happy what the work we are doing. Allah's curse occurred on everything in this dunya, whatever in, in, in this dunya, beside the person who engaged himself in the zikr of Allah ta'ala, and whatever linked to the zikr of Allah ta'ala, Allah ka zikr. Saat mein alim muta'allim, the person who teach the knowledge, wa muta'allim, and the person who learn the knowledge, unke upar to Allah ki rahmat utarti hai. Look at the status of the students. Might you have heard the name of Ibn Asakar Rahmatullahi. He was a great scholar of Hadith. Sab se bade Hadith te Hafiz Ibn Asakar. Hafiz ul Hadith. Allah. Unko shok peda hua. Shok. Eager. I want to learn knowledge. I want to learn the knowledge of Hadith. And Quran. <coughs> he traveled from Syria to Nisapu. And there were one great scholar was present in Nisapu, Unkanabe Abu Abdullah Farabi, Rahimahullah. Look at here the status of the ulama, Joe, or look the status of the of students. What Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam He traveled from Syria to learn knowledge. And we are, mashallah, today, everywhere the madrasa, Jamia Khatamun Nabi Yi. There are so many of our students. They are working daytime. They have got children. They're married. So many of our talibat. They're married. They've got children. Their housewife, still they come for part time to learn the knowledge of the deen and hadith. How fortunate they are. Who are they? Paach baje, fir das baje jate hai. Pura deen kaam karte hai, the daytime they work. Aur unke dil mein Quran ki muhabbat dekho. Look at the love of the Quran in their heart. Look at the love of the hadith and fiqh and Arabic grammar. They are coming especially to learn in madrasa. Why they want to put their life on the straight path? They want to put their life on the straight path on sarat e mustaqim. 
the intention to learn the knowledge. Unko pata hai how we can bring up our children, tarbiya, in future. Especially the youngsters, 16, 17, 18, teenager. Very dangerous. Here's this one. They don't go by alim to ask anything. They don't go by any ustad or any sheikh to ask anything. They, they want to know anything, they go by their friend. Or the mufti Google. Or Maulana Google. Straight away they open. I made one of my, uh, uh, one of the, my friends, uh, uh, son, 22 years old. I met him in Masjid al Kuba. I asked him, by what you doing? He said, I'm studying in university. It's a true story. Let me tell you. I gave him some dua. So Allah wa ta'ala, make this, this for you. He says, I don't believe in Allah. Who says, I don't believe, I'm an atheist. I don't believe, there is no Allah. I said, who taught you? He said, my friend. The friend misguided him. One of the students I met him, believe me, 18 years old, teenager. He was swearing Imam Abu Hanifa Rahmatullahi. Swearing. Actually, he was swearing. I asked him why. He says, my friend told me that Imam Abu Hanifa Rahmatullahi's namaz is not right. This is not right. His Kufi namaz is so and so and so. I explained him nicely. Why? Your friend have knowledge? No. You got knowledge? Tell me the meaning of hadith. Tell me why he was calling Imam Azam. Okay, just give me answer that. You got no answer. Just few things. They learn and then they spread. It's like a net. The youngsters net. And they're pulling the youngsters in that net to misguide them, mislead them. Happening so many youngsters. It's challenges today. We have to come and then learn true knowledge in madrasa. What Rasulullah sallallahu says, what Fuqaha says, what Allah says. We have to learn from expert ulama here. I salam karta hoon, un yimstas ko, or bari umar walo ko. They're coming in the madrasa and they're learning the knowledge. Why? They want to put themselves on the straight path. I was so many youngsters, mashallah. I'm seeing them, they come every day, regularly to Mad 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 Madrasa Kuba, uh, Madrasa uh, Jamia Khatim on the Behid. SubhanAllah. Gee. May Allah tabarak wa ta'ala grant them beneficial knowledge. Yeah, I mean. Imam Ibn Asakil, he traveled from Syria to Nisabu just to learn the knowledge of Hadith. When he went there, and he found Abu Abdullah al Farabi for three days. Teen Din Kelie. He was sitting by Ustad. He learned the Sabbath. He gone back. He come back straight away. He said, Teach me more. Teach me more. Whole day. He within three days Ustad tired to teach him. How much he was ego to learn the, uh, and the shock to learn the knowledge? The fourth day, Ustad says, Allah's Qasam. Allah's qasam. If tomorrow the student come to my door, I'm not going to teach him. He made me tired. Shock. Ilma ka shock. Hamari alat kya hai? Our students sometime, the half an hour left to go home, started watching, oh, still 25 minutes, 20 minutes. So our eyes is not in the sabak. Our eyes on the watch. Look at them. He want to learn and learn and learn. The Ustad says, normally he was a great, great scholar of Hadith. He was a great sheikh. And in his heart, is there a shock in his heart? Is there a shock in his heart? Definitely. But he got so tired, he took the custom. I'm not going to teach him if you come tomorrow by my door. Allahu Akbar. The next day morning, somebody knocked the door of Abu Abdullah Farabi. And he went there by the door, he opened the door. It was not Hafiz ibn Asakar, it was somebody else. 
ask him salam kalam ask him why who are you that man says ana rasul rasulillah sallallahu alaihi wasallam alayka i am the messenger of rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam i came to here to give you the message of rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam i have seen nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam in my dream and he told me to give you the message about hafiz ibn asaq that is the value of the student by So what Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, those God started listening. It's humbleness. Tell me, tell me what Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said. He says, Imzi ila al-Farabi fa'kul lahu, go to Imam Abu Abdullah Farabi and tell him, Qadima barada kum rajulun shamiyun, asmalu al-lawm, yadlubu hadithi, la yamalla anhu, तेरे सिटी में यो इन यो सिटी तुम्हारी कंट्री में एक आदमी आया है सीरिया से अमान केम फ्रॉम सीरिया इन यो सिटी एंड ही इज अ ब्राउनिश कलर एंड ही कम टू यू टू लर्न माय हदीस या तो लोग वो हदीस ही डोंट गेट बोर्ड फ्रॉम हिम टीच हिम हु इज गिविंग मैसेज बाय नबी सल्लल्लाहु अलैहि वसल्लम मैसेज दे रहे हैं अल्लाह अकबर तलबा का दर्जा कितना बड़ा है Look at the status of the students. The Ustad, Ustad Imam Abdullah Farabi, he says, "Wallahi, ma kang al Farabi yakumu hatta yakumul Hafiz." He after that he never ever stood up from his place under until the student says, "That's enough, enough, enough." Then okay, when he gone, then he stood up and went to house. Imagine. आपने नाम सुना होगा भाई ये कोई नई स्टोरी नहीं है दा स्टोरीज अगर शेख अब्दुल कादिर जिलानी रहमतुल्लाह ने इमाम शाफी रहमतुल्लाह ने ऑल ऑफ देम दे बिकेम द अ ग्रेट शेख एट द एज ऑफ टी लाइक 15 इयर्स 16 इयर्स इमाम शाफी रहमतुल्लाह ने वाज गिविंग द दर्स ए कुरान व्हेन ही वाज एज 13 एज 13 एंड लुक एट आवर यंगस्टर्स दे एंजॉय देयर लाइफ If somebody tell them come to Madrasa, why today's challenge is look at our Iman. What's happening in this world today? What's happening in this world today? But no, a time coming will come that we're going to depart from this dunya. It's too late. The Madrasa is open. They were going far. Sheikh Abdul Qadir Jilani, rahmatullahi. He was a fourteen and fifteen years old teenager. and he's traveling his father passed away he was yatim eh? 12 years 13 he was a yatim he left but he left his house and he went to baghdad to learn knowledge learn knowledge he went there and he started seeking knowledge what happened whatever the money the mother gave him finished wo paise khatam ho gaye the money got finished now Every day, when the dust was getting finished, the dust was completed by Ustad. He used to go by the seaside or by the riverside or by the mark in inside the market, and he was seeing that evening time, the market was very terrible. When they sold everything, they throw whatever the dust, they throw away and they go home. He used to pick up that veggie table, the thrown veggie table. The people he used to pick up all, and he used to come to his uh, room and he used to cleaning and cooking, and he was eating that. One day after lesson, he went there to find. He saw that two poor people, the fakir, they were fighting for that dirt, for that veggie table was thrown. They were fighting amongst them. So he saw them. They're fighting for themselves. I don't want to fight with them now. He left and he came. He sat in the masjid. He says, "I'm going to die today. I'm hungry from two days. No food. Nobody is there to help him. But he went there to gain knowledge, to learn knowledge. He said, he, he says, he sat in the corner of the masjid and he was thinking he's going to die today in hunger." He saw one young man enter in the masjid, and he opened the roti and curry, and he started eating. While he was eating, opening his mouth, putting the morsel in his mouth, in the corner, I was opening my mouth also. I was so hungry. I was opening my mouth also. I was so hungry. Then he called me here. Come here, boy. Come here. Come join us. While I was sit down, I said, No, I'm not coming. 
that he gave me qasam twice. Allah's qasam, please come here. I'm giving you qasam of Allah. Come here, eat me. He joined me. Then second time he says, I went there and he started talking to me. Where are you from? He said, I am Jailan, Abdul Qadri Jailani. Very famous sheikh. You, all of you heard the name, Sheikh Abdul Qadir Jilani. He says, I am from Jilan. Oh, I am also from Jilan. What are you doing here? He says, I came here to study. Study of the learning and knowledge of the hadith and so and so. He says, I am also from Jilan. That your mother gave me some dirham, tarahim, some money, some coins to give you. I was looking for you from so many days. I couldn't found you. So at the end, from three days, I was hungry. Was so hungry. I was going to die also. It like it become it become halal for me to eat haram things. I'm so hungry. So I bought some food from your money. And I'm at, I entered in the masjid. I was eating food. Come and join us. It's your food. It's your money. Look at you. Then remain money, he gave it to him. And I'm so sorry, he said. But here, can you see? Allahu Akbar. Imam, uh, Imam, uh, Imam Abu Yusuf, look at about him. He says, I never miss Fajr Salah behind my Ustad, Imam Abu Hanifa. I never miss because after Fajr is straight away, my Ustad was starting the Sabbath. He was giving us dust. And I don't want to miss. I never miss a single Fajr. Of mine, I was performing every day behind Imam Azam Abu Hanifa. One day, what happened? Subhanallah. What happened? He says, While I was in dust, a man came and he gave me a message, Your son passed away. By this is I'm telling you, you're listening. But ask them and how much they made effort for knowledge and how much we are making effort for our Iman, to protect our Iman. To protect our Iman. Imam Abu Yusuf when he heard that his son passed away, now both sides, I have to give him tajhiz and takfeel also, give him kafan, you know, bath my child and give him kafan and bury him. One side, if I go and do this, I will miss my sabak. How important the sabak of Ustaz is that he said, if I'll go, I will miss my sabak. And if I will delay the janaza, is khilaf the sunnah, against the sunnah. So what I must do, he sent the message, prepare myself. Give him bath and give him kafan and bury him. I can't miss my Ustad Sabak. That Qurbani they have gave for the knowledge. That Qurbani they gave for the knowledge. Look at here, sometimes we're supposed to go our ulama and ask something, whatever we don't know. But we go Google so and so and we mislead. Because if everybody had that phone, iPad, or internet, this and that. What, what the, the mother and father waiting that he's going to get A or the A plus. When the year finished, no A, no A plus. Not Dean side, not Dunya side. Both side he's misled. Both side he lost. Maulana Yaqub Saab Nanotmi Rahmatullahi, who was the star of Maulana Tanmi Rahmatullahi. When he became Sheikh, he was a great alim. At this age, the few great, you can say, like a, like a knowledge of, like a mountain, they got so much knowledge. In that age, they wanted to go and learn the tafsir, Hazrat by Maulana Qasim Narod In that age, unko abhi tafsir parne ka shok peda huwa. Awa ja rahe tafsir parne ke liye. They're going in that age, while they were starts of the Tarvi and so and so, they want to learn tafsir by Maulana Qasim Narod Pi Achieve. They went there and they request Hazrat. They request. Look at our youngsters, they don't even sit by some sheikh. My youngsters remember if you're 16, 17, 18, and 19, the teenage, that the year is protected. You've been protected. And you've been misled in this age. Then you mislead. Remember. Very important years is this one. This is the challenges for youngsters today. That's the ulamas is here, the madaris is here, everything they teach, fiqh, grammar, hadith, everything, Quran, tafsir, that we at least, we at least could understand something and we follow the straight path. Allahu Akbar. 
مولانا یعقوب صاحب نانوٹ بھی اسٹینڈنگ ادر مولانا قاسم نانوٹ بھی اب علماء جماعت ون ٹو لرن تفسیر قران فروم یو سرو کی کم ٹو مورو دین اول جماعت وین دے اینڈ حضرت اسٹارٹڈ فروم الف لام میم ذلك الكتاب لا ریب فی دی فرسٹ ایت of the first ayat of the Quran of Surah Baqarah. Just only he spoken two hours about Alif Lam Mim. Then, Adam, then Ustad went away. Mona Qasim Narodmi. Do you know about Mona Qasim Narodmi anything? No. Look at his wife. When Mona Qasim Narodmi married, he married to who? A Nawab's daughter. Let me tell you something. Who said that Kari Teb Sahib Rahmatullah Ali mentioned? Who was a Muhtamim and Prince of 50 years of Dawlum Day One? He says, I learned Mishkar from my daddy, Mawlana Qasim Narod, his wife. And he, she was a daughter of, daughter of a Nawab. You know, the Nawab no go there, na? Both Maldar go there. When, what happened? When she married her father gave him jewelry and gold. How much? Us zamane mein ek lakh rupees ka thau. Hundred thousand rupees the gold given to her to go to. Why? Ho gaya thai. Ho aay? Quran-e ke baad. Chukhi hamari talibat bhi sun rahi hai, aurte bhi sun rahi hai. Toh mein ye vaakya suna ke khatam kar rehta hu. Toh ek lakh rupee ka gold diya unko. Jau, shadi ho gaya, that Nanot bhi rahmatullah rahe ke saath. First night, Hazrat Nanot, you went inside the room, subhanallah. Andar mein gaye, to dekha to gold, sab kuch mojood, ek lakh rupiya. Aur us zamane, Mawla Nanot bhi rahmatullah rahe ke saath, my wages was two rupees. Two rupees was, was my wages. And hundred thousand rupees, subhanallah, the gold she brought it. Hazrat explained that. Dekho, ye sona hai na, aisa karte hai, Allah ke raaste mein de dete hai. Kyunke mein toh gharib hu. You maldaro, I want to become like you will take so many years. And if you want to become like me, two minutes. He said, how can? Take everything out and we're going to send a turkey, the Khilafat Zamana here. We send them, they will, they will use this money. So, okay, she took it out, everything. The next day, Hazrat Nanot bin Ahmedullah's family, one two old lady came, said, look like she was burdened for the father, that's why she was sent here by Mawlana. Nanot bin Ahmedullah, she would know nothing, no yearly, no bangal, nothing. What should she started crying. Rone lagi. To Hazrat Nanoti se kaha, Mujhe chhoor do mera abu ke yaan se. Chale, chalo chhoor ne aata. Chhoor ne chale gai. Three days she was staying in the house. The father saw her. Third day in Zanana Khana. You know that time was Zanana Khana, Mardana Khana was separate. Father went after. He said, you here? In one day you came back? He says, when I went there, I gave everything. What Hazrat said, I gave everything in the path of Allah. Then the one old lady told me, and she was crying. I said, don't worry, I'll give you another 100,000. Okay, is that goal I'm giving you. She came with 100,000 gold. But Hazrat Narod, Hazrat Narod went to her at night, subhanAllah. Raat mein jab gaye to dekha, uske paas, Maya, meinne tujhe pehle bhi samjhaya, ke qayamat ke din ye, ye saap ban jayenge, bichu ban jayenge, fula aur fula. Hazrat, وہ عورت کہہ رہی ہے کہ حضرت کی بات جب حضرت ایک ایک لفظ بولتے تھے تو میرے دل میں ایسا ایفیکٹ ہوتا تھا کہ میں نکال کی گئی نکال کی گئی سب کچھ دے دو اللہ کے راستے میں then she became the alima and she learned the knowledge by husband by اس نے مولانا نانو پی رحمت اللہ رہی کاری تیب صاحب رحمت اللہ فرماتے ہیں میں نے مشکات میری دادی سے پڑھا ہے اس عمر میں ہماری طالبات look at them ماشاءاللہ they have the children they do so much house work also. Fir bhi paach bajay se lekar humare jo expert ulama hai unke paas hadith, quran, fiqh sikhne ke liye aati hai taake khud bhi sahih raastay par chale aur dusru ko bhi chalaye unhe pata hai ke hum Allah ke raastay mein nikle huye hai jab tar wapas jayenge Allah ke farishtay humare pairo ke niche par bhi chate hai aur hum ek ek masla sikhne par learn one masla Abdullah Masood Radiallahu Khan says you will get a reward of thousand nafal rakats one masala. So, how many masala do you learn? So, I request you to request you to you, especially all the youngsters and many people who have not joined in this JK institute, try to join in it. Go to the morning and do not have any time in the morning. Come in the morning and join in it. And learn and learn, inshallah. It will be very, very beneficial for you and for your coming kids and for future for your kids also, inshallah. Allah Pak Mujhe and Aap Sab Kamal Ki Tawfiq Ata Farmai. Wa Aku Dawana and Alhamdulillah Rabbil Arameen. Phir Kabhi inshallah sunaunga ke humare akabirin itni badi umar mein bhi shuyuk ke paas jate thay. Allah Hameh bhi Tawfiq